Good morning, world. Welcome back to our channel. We are here in the middle of the countryside of Cambridge, <laughs> just on a small road in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Beautiful location for our next video. So today we will talk about our filming setup on the bike. Yeah, we had a lot of people um, asking online about um, what uh, cameras we were using or microphones or how we set everything up. So I thought we could just uh, do a quick video and we can show you guys all about it. So let's go. <laughs> so we'll start at the front of the bike. This is a GoPro Hero 7 and it's mounted onto the bar which is just behind the windshield on our bike. Now I don't know if this bar is on every single bike but it was really useful that this was here for us because it's the perfect place to mount it. Because it's quite high up, it's still um, behind the windshield um, and it's quite high up and it has a quite a nice view of both of us and the surroundings from behind. Um, that's mounted onto the bar using the Camelo which we got from Amazon. Um, we've got links for all of this stuff in the description so if you want to check out any of these products you can just uh, check the links down in the description. Um, so yeah, it's the Camelo handlebar mount for motorcycles. And um, it seems like a really robust piece of kit. It's, um, it's made of metal and it's attached to the bar there. And it, uh, it's really solid, it's really solid. So at the moment, I couldn't recommend that enough. So now going to the back of the bike, we have a very homemade setup to give you that sort of vantage point of both the rider and the pillion from behind and everything around them. It's a really cool angle. This was actually completely random. We just went to B&Q and we just were looking to see what they had that would work for us. And this is what we came up with. It's essentially a big selfie stick, which we have a, <laughs> which we have a GoPro Max 360 camera attached to the top of, and that extends out really far, so it can give us an amazing vantage point over the bike. Um, and that is attached to our rear pannier. It's actually screwed on with four screws, um, and this was originally a coffee table leg, and it was just in B&Q, and we thought it looked like a similar sort of size to our pole with the foam kind of handle. And um, we cut off the end and it was amazing because it fits in nice and snug, which we don't have to do anything else. You don't even have to secure it. It just fits in like that. It's absolutely amazing. So onto our third camera, that is the old classic, the GoPro mounted on the front of the chin of the helmet. Now, again, this is a Amazon product that we found, which is um, attaching with four bits of adhesive to the helmet, and it feels really, really solid. It feels like it's not gonna fall off anytime soon. I've got the link in the description for that one as well. Um, and that one, the GoPro is not on it because we're currently filming with it. But essentially the GoPro goes on the chin and that gives uh, that third vantage point from the rider's perspective. The rider's perspective. For our audio setup, what we've done is we have the GoPro attached to an audio splitter and that audio splitter gives us two input feeds for the GoPro. The GoPro has the uh, media mod on it. It's actually a GoPro Hero 10 with the media mod attached so that you can uh, plug in external microphones. So my external microphone is actually wired into the helmet and round so that it's actually on my intercom mic and it's actually just taped together with my intercom mic. So even if my helmet is up or down, I can still um, talk and record talking. Lavi's one being a full face helmet. She's actually using this one, which is what I'm using at the moment. Both of these um, uh, lapel mics are Movo PM10s and the link for those is also in the description. And we really like the sound of these ones. So um, I definitely recommend these lapel mics. They aren't really that expensive and they actually sound pretty good. <laughs> so Lavi's one pretty much goes uh, uh, inside the helmet and is just sort of taped in front of the mouth like that. So that's basically our filming and audio setup. But what we're going to do now is we're going to jump on the bike and we're going to show you what it's like in action. <coughs> okay, rock and roll. 
So I found that if you beep a bunch of times at the beginning of uh, when you want to start recording with all three cameras, then that really helps with um, syncing them all back up together uh, when you get into the editing suite because it can often be really hard to find out where you are in the video and getting all of the different angles in the same place so just a little tip but this is our three camera setup in action we're rolling down this beautiful little country road in Cambridgeshire and it's a beautiful location to just show you guys our motorbike studio setup <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, we've got the GoPro mounted to the front here behind the windshield. And uh, that GoPro is sort of the one that I can talk to as I'm driving along. And uh, that just gives us another perspective. Hopefully you can see sort of me, maybe a little bit of Lavi behind me and uh, a bit of the surroundings. And then you've got the one on my chin. That one I can sort of direct, you know, anywhere that I want to film I can look to the left, look to the right. The rapeseed oil is coming up at the moment, coming into flower. That's really, really beautiful. Really... Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful time of year in England. <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of the rider's perspective one, the one on the chin. And uh, that's also the one that's recording both of our audio because uh, Lavi has plugged herself in. Like I said before, we're both using the Movo PM10 lapel mics. Uh, which are perfectly reasonable and I think they sound pretty good. Yeah, and then you can see on the back here the GoPro 360 Max. And that one is the star of the show in my opinion. <laughs> like that just gives you this amazing perspective that the other two just can't give you. It's just like, ah, oh, it just shows both of us on the bike, all the surroundings. It's like being followed by a little mini drone for the whole time and um, yeah I'm really happy with that setup and uh, the way we bolted it on to the rear pannier uh, feels really secure and the shot I think is absolutely beautiful I absolutely love it yeah it's a very nice shot so there we go that is basically all three cameras rolling at once with our two microphones rolling as well and uh, this is what you get from the result and if you guys haven't checked out our first little trip up to the Peak District where we first sort of tested out all this equipment um, then please go and check that out and if you don't know we're actually heading off next week on our around the world trip uh, which is actually a Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle so we're heading out next week and uh, that's going to be like a two-year trip and uh, we're super excited to get out and get on the road so if you haven't already guys please subscribe to the channel because we have a huge adventure coming up and um, yeah we would absolutely love it if you would be uh, following along with us we will see you next time <laughs> <laughs>